Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, Career Mode. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so let me try to catch everybody up. I'm not one to go the normal route of things, so I was building more SSTOs than rockets in the very early stages of this career mode. So far, we've already been to the moon and back. We've got some science, but not a whole lot. We don't even have, well, no, we have docking unlocked, but it's like the tiny little docking port thing. We've got the Weasley jet. That's pretty much it. It's a lot better than what we did have, which was, well, <laughs> rockets. We still made SSTOs with just rockets. When we unlocked the uh, Juno engine, it just meant that the rockets had a better chance of landing where they're supposed to land. But now we have the Weasley engine, which which uh, doesn't do anything in particular special, but it does allow for a little bit more power and longer flight times when the craft comes back. Doesn't really help on the whole launching sequence part. That's mostly done by rockets still. But our biggest breadwinner of the day is the Trident Star SSTO. The SSTOs that we first started off with were relatively small and weak, only able to get one person up there. And then after some trial and error and more and more changes, they were they were able to pick up passengers and go into low Earth, uh, Earth orbit, <laughs> low carbon orbit. And then as they got bigger, that's when the Trident Star was invented because it kind of looked like the you know uh, uh, po Poseidon's Trident. Well, you get, yeah, you get it, you get it, yeah, they get it. And of course, after a little while longer, we wanted to go to the moon, which was a whole nother case of worms. It was a two-stage to orbit craft, or two-stage to the moon craft. But now here we are with the last legacy of the Trident Star. It's had a good run, and it'll probably still be used for a while to get small little payloads into space. But slowly but surely, it's going the way of the dodo. It'll be honorably missed in the future. But I still have missions for it. No, now, now we have something else completely completely different and we'll get to that in a moment so for the career mode today's mission was to replace the aging satcoms or satellites that were in orbit they were too close and they had a major flaw in their design they couldn't go anywhere they were dropped off by the trident star and well just kind of sat there i gave them all a flea engine uh the uh the solid booster which was only meant to bring them back to kerbin i now see the error in my ways and have replaced replaced this satellite with a liquid engine, liquid fuel engine. With the liquid fuel engine, I can actually bring these satellites much, much higher so they can surround the entire uh, Kerbin planet and bounce off signals and all that jazz. I was thinking about going for the whole three, you know, get the whole, you know, three satellites, uh, being able to see everything, whatnot, but let's just face it i didn't have time to get it fucking super perfect so four is fine four will, four is good now the trident star mark four was okay but i wanted to make it a little bit more i don't know aerodynamic looking so i built the mark five gave it some more aerodynamic looking wings moved it around a little bit because now i had to carry sli a slightly heavier payload and it worked out just fine got the satellite into its orbit of 700,000 meters high enough but as i was re-entering kerbin's atmosphere i I noticed that the uh, the SSTO started getting a little hot, especially in the cabin. A little too hot. What that told me is that it wasn't slowing down fast enough. It was staying too long in the atmosphere, burning up, which not a good thing. So once the TriStar landed, I went ahead and upgraded it again. I put some more wings on it, especially underneath the back engines, give them like little protection platings. Now you don't need it in the game, obviously, but in real life, they would need some sort of way to protect the engines, the engine bells during re-entry. The engine bells themselves, while they do control uh, or, or, you know, stay cool during a controlled explosion, don't do so well during re-entry if they're entering into the atmosphere with all that heat and force of slamming into the atmosphere. Not good, okay? They need shielding just like anything else. Kerbal Space Program, of course, doesn't simulate that particular part of inevitable destruction. So to make it feel more realistic, I went ahead and put a winged structure under there just to give it kind of a, like a little shield, little shield thing. Makes me happy, okay? And it looks cool. Well, I think it looks cool. More realistic-ish. Launched it, everything looked good. Put another sat in orbit, got into another 700,000 um, meter uh, altitude thingamajig. Brought it back down, but 
To be honest, I, I, I wasn't liking the whole aerodynamic pointy bit though that I put in front. Plus, it, it was a little bit of a lack of control started happening there. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't digging it. So I reiterated that uh, design one more time and put more control into the front of the craft with some canards, and it made it look a lot better. It really did. I, I like it. So I used it to put the third satellite or the third or fourth of one of them basically to, to finish the mission of putting the satellites into orbit and not only did it land beautifully but uh, looked cool doing it now once that was all said and done I actually wanted to build a space station or you know what we, what we could build with the technology that we have right now which is a tiny little docking port and a hitchhiker container basically but I didn't want to just launch it up there even though technically I could with a reusable rocket booster kind of like SpaceX I wanted I wanted an SSTO like a like a real solid cargo SSTO not one that can just only put sats into orbit but one that could put like modules into orbit Some, something cool like that granted all I have is the rocket engines and the Weasley engine and granted I already have something that could put something very heavy into orbit like the Prometheus but I wanted something a little different well I wanted something I wanted something new and to be honest the Prometheus only had enough power to get somewhat into orbit it was a, it was a suborbital first stage but it did pick up a lot of you know it did lift something that was very heavy that could go to the moon and back which was you know if, if it was to actually bring something cargo wise that was as light as let's say modules space station modules it probably could make it into orbit pretty easy I'll have to test that but anyway I wanted to build something new at the time so for this x01 craft I was thinking about building building it with the cargo in the middle of the craft I don't have any cargo holds or anything of that nature but I was thinking about like putting like a space in the middle of the SSTO and having whatever I needed in the middle of that space that way everything could be lined up when it came to center of mass and center of thrust but it wasn't coming together like I wanted it to I've built these type of crafts before way back in the day that's a whole nother can of worms I won't get into that needless to say it wasn't really working out for me so I went back to the TriStar with the whole carrying something like a piece of cargo on the back of the SSTO concept and just started working backwards making the TriStar a lot bigger better more powerful but it was no longer the TriStar it didn't it didn't look like a trident was it TriStar trident have I, have I been saying TriStar this entire time I have haven't I fuck trident star Blech. yes blame me in the comments below for mixing up TriStar and trident star anyway so the trident star yes I went ahead and tried to build something that was like but it, it wasn't the trident anymore it didn't have the three points that you know gave it its name when it first started it looked more like a freaking b2 bomber so I just renamed it to christened it the x01 for now I launched it after I was done building it launched it extremely early prototype didn't really care if it made it up there or not I just wanted to make sure that the Kerbal that I was test flying this craft with made it back in one piece but other than that I didn't really care about the payload or anything like that I was it's all tests yes it's all it's all tests somehow uh, so I went back to the drawing board and gave it a little bit more control up front so I gave it a little bit more wings it kind of came out a little bit nicer looking kind of cool looking but yeah there it is the x01 not sure what to call it if you have any uh, suggestions I'd would love to hear them just comment in the bottom below but yeah that took about a week after coming home from work I did about an hour or two a day it's amazing how little you can get done in KSP with <laughs> I mean shit all I did was renew the satellite systems and create a slightly larger SSTO to bring something heavier in space. And it took almost a week with, you know, an hour or two every day. Goodness gracious, there's got to be a better way. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you're interested, we have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. But I have been Veos. Have been. What the fuck? That doesn't even sound right. Love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.